folks. Welcome to the channel. Hope things are going well for you. I'm Don. I'm doing a regular request today. Please Daddy by Dwight Yoakam. And is requested by Georgia Outlaw Vinyl and That Junk Man. Two different folks. So you got to love screen names like that, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I know this song. Please Daddy. It sure enough sounds like it's going to be a sad, sad song. Dwight will do that to you. I woke up this morning, the room felt empty and bare. As I turned to the closet, your clothes were not there. Ah. I walked to the kitchen, found our little girl with a note. As I read it to myself, the tears began to flow and she said, Please, Daddy, don't. Quite a level of awareness for a young girl. I look down at her through tear stained eyes. It's as though you were there in a tiny disguise. She clutches her pajama with that soft little hand see all this that's happening she can't quite understand but she says please daddy don't cry that way I know mommy left us but that's okay All right, but the little girl must not have liked her mom that much and really liked her dad. Because not only is she quote unquote siding with the dad, but emotionally she's in the dad's camp and she's like, I know mom left, but that's okay. No kid says that unless the mom is kind of wacky, but most kids just would bawl their eyes out and then be confused. But uh, we don't have the backstory. Please, daddy, don't cry that way. I'm right here beside you. Trying to explain the words that come out are swollen with pain. She looks yeah. through my eyes, back right down to my soul, sees all the hurt that I can't control. So please, daddy, don't cry that way. I know mommy left us, but that's okay. You know, there are some artists, like, I can't see Dwight doing anything but country. There are some people who are just pure something. And there are some artists, you know, you could see them maybe moving into other realms, maybe jumping over into rock or maybe even into rap or something like that. Dwight, I don't think could. He's just pure country. That's just it. And I don't mean as a matter of talent. He's got tons of talent. He just is completely sold on not just being country. He just is it. Just, yeah, the way he delivers every line. And uh, uh, that was an interesting song, only because I keep thinking about 
I mean, there's a willful suspension of disbelief, as they call it. When we watch movies or TV shows, you know, they, they get the actors and actresses, they get them into these different scenarios and situations where it's like, oh, that wouldn't even happen that way in real life. But you willfully suspend your own disbelief just so you could see how the story plays out. In this song, it's like, it's hard for me to suspend my disbelief that the kid would be okay. But he, with mom leaving, but here's the deal. What kind of mom just leaves a note on a table knowing her kid will see the note and just leaves? So what happened to the mom? Was the mom like crazy, as we sometimes say, or was she mean or just disinterested? Where did that relationship break down that the kid wasn't overly or was just way more concerned about the dad's tears than the mom being gone? Because commonly a kid will think at some level, at some point, in some way, that it was their fault. Mom didn't like me, so she left or whatever. But yeah, the way Dwight sang it just made it a, a song. Obviously, the instrumentation was spot on. And but the, yeah, that was uh, the, what was that song? Daddy, don't you walk so fast? I forget who sang that. That was back from like the seventies, and that was a sad song. It was similar. Uh, I don't know, feel in a way to a song with a kid involving the dad and there was, you know, heartbreak in there. All right, I'm going to rate this one, Georgia Outlaw Vinyl and That Junk Man. The number that popped into my head was an 8.8. .8. I wish lyrically it was developed a little bit differently, maybe more completely so that I could get over the disconnect as to why the kid wouldn't be distraught over the mom leaving. But I, I love that she loved her dad the way she did. And I love that line about him, like looking, like hearing, what is he, looking at his daughter through swollen eyes or something to that effect. I really did like that, that usage of that word swollen eyes in there because that's what it would be like. So, all right, folks, hope this didn't happen to you. Have a great day. I'll see you in another video and keep rocking the country.